Who raped the wheelchair maiden? Who raped the wheelchair maiden? Oh, who raped the wheelchair maiden? It was a question for a time until the boy started prowling and beginning to commit crimes. Yeah, Jen's dad, he was a mongrel from down in southeast Kentucky. Her mother was a mongoloid, in all ways always unlucky. Jen was born in a three-room house near a place named Aliquippa. She was born with something dreadful, some doc called spina bifida. So instead of turning over, she just laid around in a pile. Instead of starting to crawl, she just laid there trying to smile. Instead of beginning to walk, she was fitted for a wheelchair. Instead of running to and fro, she had to be wheeled everywhere. Soon she grew into a maiden with the mongrel sniffing around. And of course he was excited by what had grown beneath her gown. The day of reckoning it came when her mother was far away. Her innocence he took from her like a wild beast does with its prey. And then when she told her mother about what had happened to her, her mother told her rather coldly, there are some things we must endure. Then she endured it in silence till another reckoning came. Her secret could not be hidden from them concerned with shame and blame. With her, those concerned were concerned. They did not think she was to blame. They thought someone had done to her an act that should not go unnamed. For they knew almost for certain that someone did an awful thing, and they had done it to a girl whose life was filled with suffering. Oh, who raped the wheelchair maiden? Some said Sammy, and some said Brad. Some said Tommy, and some Johnny. But few guessed it was her old dad. Oh, who raped the wheelchair maiden? It was a question for a time, until the boy started prowling and beginning to commit crimes. Yes, it was true she was with child, and its father was her old dad, and the town folk were whispering about many a different lad. When she was asked to name the dad on the morning her son was born, she told them to ask her father, but he had gone back to Elkhorn. Then Jan and her mother endured and stayed around to face the truth to watch the little baby boy grow into an unruly youth. He got to doing the same things that his dad and granddad had done till Jan's mom died of exhaustion and Jan became sick of her son. Oh, who raped the wheelchair maiden? Some said Sammy and some Brad. Some said Tommy and some Johnny. But few guessed it was her old dad. Oh, who raped the wheelchair maiden? It was a question for a time till the boy started prowling and beginning to commit crimes.